Welcome to this tech episode. Today we'll be examining the circuit board on the Easy UHF external transmitter module and showing you how to fix a common defect with the module to, having to do with the solder joints. If you already own one and have been experiencing range problems, this may fix your issues. Performing this or even opening the case will most likely void your warranty. So if that's important to you, I suggest you send it back to the manufacturer instead. This does not imply to other UHF systems, only to this particular Immersion RC product. This video explains how to fix a simple manufacturing defect on an otherwise great product. So let's get started by removing the screws that hold the top end plate in place. This will let you slide the board out of the case. Next, remove the locking nut on the SMA connector and remove the top end plate from the board. Now it's time to inspect the board to determine if your board has this particular fault. So examine the solder joints on the back of the board, especially the joints for the SMA RF antenna connector, the high-low power switch, the RC input jack, and the external power jack. If they look like they've been ground down with a file or Dremel tool, you may even see cracks forming in the solder around the pins, effectively making the electrical connection at that point useless or unreliable. If that is not the case, your unit may not be defective, or if it does not work properly, the problem may be elsewhere. If you do find bad solder joints, the fix is very simple. You will need a small soldering iron and some solder to fix it. I'm using a Weller BP860MP. It was originally battery powered and worked well, but I got tired of replacing the batteries, so I hardwired it and can now run it off any 12 volt power supply, in this case a portable jumper pack. I use a DC to DC step down voltage regulator that I adjusted to give the same voltage as the batteries. These are available at very low cost on eBay. Start by picking up a small amount of solder on the tip of the hot iron and then remelting each faulty joint, making sure to leave some fresh solder behind. Repeat for all of the suspect solder joints. finished, you can put the unit back together. Most SMA connectors will need an 8mm or 5 16 wrench to tighten the locking nut. Be careful not to over tighten. A pair of pliers will probably work if you really don't have the right size wrench, but just be careful. Finally, insert the screws that hold the end plate on and make sure to thread the antenna on before powering up the module. You can just tighten the antenna by hand. Hopefully, your Easy UHF works better now. I know it made a huge difference on two of mine. One of them could not get past two kilometers distance without losing signal. And after the fix, I've flown over 12 kilometers and never had a single glitch since, and never had a need to go to high power. I still recommend this product because of the ability to change frequency ranges and analyze its spectrum using Immersion RC tools. The head tracker port is especially handy too. Here at FPV Reviews, we hope you have a success in FPV. Please be sure to check out our website for the latest in advanced FPV projects. We'll put a link in the description. Have a good one.